heavyweight championship fight between Jan Blachowicz and Israel Adesanya. fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one-trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. of the tape for this light heavyweight title fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last dial bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Jan Rise for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it a fight. Ready. You ready to fight? This fight gets underway, and you have to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh! Oh, big diving punch to the head. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just follow this one. All right, so 
So a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's in. Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, Hovich has attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Adesanya. Let's go. Get him Back to the feet. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up. I mean, timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big kick lands. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, cripple his knee to the body. Big head kick. Oh, straight right. How about those? Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. In the he round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't... He's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Goldman versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And a 45% accuracy rate thus far against Jan Blachowicz. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Nice punch by Adesanya. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Blahovich. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Can't take many of those, you better check. Hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. 
Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. And there he is, the king of the 205ers, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, and no better way to get the job done than he did tonight by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, and still, the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. All right, so a nice retention of the title tonight. Our UFC light heavyweight champion gets it done in a big way. We hear it over and over again in regards to this guy. He is very good. He is a very big, strong 205-pound fighter and a guy that is going to take a massive effort to try to take the belt with him.